Hello there. So I had a request for how to set up for the state board exam. So let's get into it. When you first come in to take your exam, you're going to need to check in with the supervisor. The supervisor will ask for you to show them your photo ID. So it could be a driver's license, could be a passport, something that actually has your picture on there with your name. From there, they will send you to whatever room it is that you are going to be having your exam in. When you go into the room, you will go to your examiner. They will also check your um, photo ID and they will have you fill out um, a piece of paper with your signature and your address um, so that they know where to send your license if you get it, which hopefully you will. So let's talk about the setup. First, when you come in for your exam, you need two bags or totes or pieces of luggage, whatever it is that you choose to do as far as packing. And make sure you refer to my packing video for how to set everything up so it's nice and easy and organized for you. So basically, you're going to have one container, which is marked clean, labeled clean, actually labeled on there. It will be full of all of your tools and your supplies that you will need for the actual exam. And then you need another one, which is labeled dirty. Your dirty bin or container should be empty when you're going to the exam because you will not have used anything at this point. So everything starts out in your clean bin and will end up being in your dirty bin. Okay, if you are taking your exam at a cosmetology school, chances are they will have hydraulic chairs for you to use that have the pumps, so I recommend that you use them to make sure your mannequin is at the right height. They may also have some type of device, kind of like this one, for you to use for your mannequin heads. That is not a guarantee though. So if you are not going to, let's say, the school that you went to to take your exam, don't assume that they will have one of these pro holders for you. When you buy your mannequin head to bring for the exam, a lot of times you can buy it with the pro holder. You may have to purchase it separately, but either way, just make sure that you have one if you're not 100% sure that they have it, okay? You will need to bring with you a brand new mannequin that has not been processed. Um, do not bring in one that has synthetic hair. If you do that, um, number one, the hair is not going to cooperate when you go to do the blow dry and the curling iron because heat and synthetic hair do not go well together. So make sure you get a 100% human hair mannequin. I actually recommend bringing it in the box so your examiner can see that you have a brand new head with you. Now I'm using a little bit more than one station here. Depending on where you're at, you may have less or more room, so adjust accordingly. So this again is a brand new mannequin head. You'll want to make sure, and I would make sure of this before you go to your exam, that the stem on this pro holder works for your mannequins. So why they are made this way, I'm not quite sure. I would think that all of these holes at the bottom of the mannequin heads would be universal, but they're not. So sometimes you can buy, um, a pro holder that has multiple stems with it. So if you have one of those, just make sure you have the correct one on here because if your mannequin head doesn't stay or it's gonna wobble, that's going to make for a bad time for you. It's gonna make you very nervous. So we have this mannequin head set up. Um, on here, I have my EPA approved hospital grade disinfectant. So before you get started, you want to spray your area with that and wipe it down. If you wanna have a roll of paper towels, you can. If you wanna have, we have, we call these PST towels where I teach at a school, um, that's what we have. So wipe it down. You need to have a hand sanitizer with you and you will use that before every single procedure that you start in between each and every one, okay? You need to have a blood contamination kit that should be labeled, blood contamination kit. In there, this container needs to be stiff and rigid um, and it has to be able to fit your shears in here if you need to. I also have in mind a liquid styptic in case I was to cut myself and some band-aids as well, as well as some alcohol wipes. So make sure that you have a blood contamination kit with you and that it is out and available. I always like to have an extra towel with me in case I need to wipe off my hands for any reason. Um, this paper towel that I have set up on today is great because when I'm done with this procedure and I want to clean it up, I can actually use this paper towel with my EPA approved disinfectant to wipe it down and then I would put out a new paper towel. So again, a roll of them or a stack of them would be fine. Okay, so part of your setup as well is a garbage bag. 
So I have a garbage bag here that is attached to my station. Technically, when you're done with your exam, you actually need to take your garbage with you. But if the exam or if your examiner or supervisor says it's okay, they may let you put the garbage into um, the garbage can that they have in the room. Okay. So your mannequin, as far as draping her, that is part of your setup. So you need to have some type of barrier to put between the cape and the mannequin head. A neck strip is fine, a disposable one, something that's not too big and bulky because when you do the haircut, you don't want that paper towel or neck strip to get in the way. So put that on there and then you're going to need to use a cape. You can use a smaller comb out cape or you can use a larger cape. Either is acceptable as long as you have some type of covering for your mannequin head. Move that around. And you're going to secure it. And put this over the chair so that any hair when you're doing the haircut will slide right off of that and then onto the floor versus on the chair. I also didn't mention that you need to have a clean outer garment, whether it be a smock or an apron on. You need to make sure that you have some type of sleeve. You can't have sleeveless. And you can't see my shoes right here, but they need to be closed toe, closed heel, not made of canvas. Your appearance says a lot about you. You should be done. Your hair should be done. Your makeup should be done. You should play the part. Don't go in looking sloppy and disheveled. Don't have clips put onto your smock because that is not professional. You should have those all set up here, okay? When you're done at the end of your exam, again, all of your supplies that you have used, as soon as you're done with the procedure, put that right into your dirty bin. And when you're done at the end of your whole exam, make sure you clean up your entire area really well. The chair, the mirror, the station, and everything, okay? All right, don't forget to keep practicing all of those different tasks and let me know how you do on your exam.